It's a brand new day and currently it's 7.38 in the morning, February 15th. And today is going to be another day when it's going to rain, but at least it's not going to be as hot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to freshen up and then get ready for work. Today is Thursday, so hopefully it's not going to be as busy. So yeah, without any further delays, let's just go in and then get ready. Okay, I freshen up, so I'm going to do my morning ritual before having breakfast. <laughs> Okay, vlog number 112 has been edited and published, so it's going to be live on February 15th, 1 p.m. Sydney time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my tea and biscuit and then get ready for work. So it's already 9.03 p.m. and I have a meeting at 9.15, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to work and I'll be back in about maybe eight hours now. A few hours later. It's 6 p.m. on the dot and I'm home, so let's just go in. Okay, rested for a bit, so it's now time for my nightly ritual. So gonna do this and then gonna have dinner. I didn't even get the time to have tea, but we're gonna have the tea after dinner. <laughs> Okay, so it's 7 11 p.m. So our dinner is ready. We're having eggplant curry with lentils, rice, and two eggs. Okay, so it's 8 46 p.m. So we're having tea and brownie. This is something that I was supposed to have after coming home, but since we didn't do that and we straight up had dinner, so I'm having this now. And this is a dessert, so it can be consumed after dinner. Oh, look, it started to rain a little. Okay, so today was a very busy and a hectic day for me, so I didn't get much time to do any sort of recording. And by the time I came home, I was so heavily tired that I didn't want to do anything. I pretty much rested on the bed then. I didn't even have the energy to make tea to have the evening tea. So I was like, I'm just gonna rest. My body is demanding this. And sometimes when you're doing this daily vlogging, you have to listen to your body because if you don't, then you're gonna regret it at some point in your life, maybe even the same day. So that's what I did. I rested in my bed. And the only time I woke up was when the dinner was about to be ready. And that was it. I was not sleeping. I was just resting. I was just closing my eyes and trying to relax, trying to chill. It was that much of a hectic day for me, but everything is good now. Yesterday I touched on what I experienced daily vlogging for over 100 days. And I listed two things in yesterday's vlog. You can go and check vlog 112. I pretty much mentioned the two things that actually I learned and I did not know during the initial start of daily vlogging. Maybe some of you do because you've seen other creators make daily vlogs and they've talked about it, but that's what I faced. And when I started on this journey, I did not know any other creators that were doing daily vlogging because I did not used to watch any of the creators apart from tech channels like MKBHD and so on and so forth. That was the only YouTube content that I consumed but I started this because I felt like you know I want to document this because it's always going to be good to look at some point in the future so that's why I started and what I forgot to mention in yesterday's video was I did not tell anyone that I was doing this daily vlog I didn't tell my friends I didn't tell my family and to this day the majority of my friends and family don't even know maybe one or two maybe no but apart from that all of my other friends and my other connections even my family don't know so that's something that you know like I've never communicated never told because I want the channel to be at a state where it grows so big that you know like my video maybe gets recommended in their YouTube feed and they find out themselves rather than me telling them and you know it's not gonna be very organic now you might be thinking why didn't I tell my friends or why didn't I tell my family and again this goes back to what I talked about in yesterday's vlog it was basically confidence I did not want to tell anyone yes as I said I wanted this to be a natural way that my channel grows into a level where it gets recommended to people's YouTube feed and that would be you know the best way to find out but at the same time, I was not very comfortable communicating that. Yes, sometimes I would be recording when I'm with my friends and family and they would be asking, do you have a YouTube channel or something jokingly? And I would be like, no, no, no. I just want to document or capture this on my phone so that I can look back at it. That's what I used to tell them. But as I said in yesterday's video, everything like this is going to be normal. You're going to be able to tell your friends, your family, as long as you continue to do this and as long as you continue to push yourself. But in order to push yourself, you need to enjoy what you're doing. But if you don't enjoy this at any point, then pushing yourself is not going to yield any results so you need to love taking videos you need to love editing the videos you need to love you know like finding the time to publish the video maybe you're going to be editing very late maybe you're going to be editing very early in the morning so you need to love the whole process that's the only time you can push yourself and continue to do this without hampering yourself and that's also one of the way to avoid burnout when doing this and the other thing is you have to stay true to yourself
yourself because sometimes when people grow so much, they get lost in all the fame and the money and everything around them that they forget, you know, where they came from. And that's always going to be ending in a very bad result that you sometimes get too bored. You lose your passion. So you have to stay grounded. You have to stay humble. And that is the only way, even after getting fame and all the money, you can continue to grow and continue to be good at what you do and never lose the passion. Obviously, as I said, I didn't do this to get the views, the subscribers or the money or the fame. This is just going to be my personal memory bank online so that I can access from any device anywhere as long as I have internet. Okay, with all that being said and cleared out of the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here so that I can get started with editing. And I'm really happy because tomorrow is Friday and two days holiday. So I'm always excited when Friday hits because Friday is the most exciting day for me because weekend is not too far away. That's why I love Friday. Thank you for watching this video this far. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Till then, bye.